Hello everyone, my name is Human Hedayati and I do human-robot interaction. In this video, I'm presenting our work which done with Dan Safer at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill and Atlas Institute at the University of Colorado Boulder. In the next 10 minutes, I show you how robot can predict the position of undetected people in a conversational group. Look at this example. Three people are in a conversational group with a robot and another person joins. The robot can detect the three people with the special hats but cannot detect the fourth person. Using our method, the robot is able to predict the position of undetected person and look in their direction. My vision of the future is that people accepted robots in their daily life. In order to achieve that vision, I'm focusing on human-robot conversational group. The definition of affirmation by Kendon is an affirmation arises whenever two or more people sustain a special and orientational relationship in which the space between them is one to which they have equal, direct, and exclusive access. Detecting a formation is easy for us and almost hard-coded in our brains. Here's an exercise for you. If I show you a scene like this one and ask you to select the people who are in a conversational group with each other, you easily can do that. Let's give it a try. Ready? Probably you come up with the same answer. We have a formation of size 8, size 4, size 3, size 2, and that's all. A formation can appear in different arrangements. In general, a formation that have more than two people tend to appear in the circular arrangement, while the formation of size 2 can appear in three different arrangements, L arrangement, vis-a-vis -vis arrangement, and side-by-side -side arrangement. Each of these arrangements can give us an information about the activity happening in their formation. For example, when people tend to stay on the side-by-side -side -side arrangement, they are either sharing a resource like a map or looking at artifact like a poster. Imagine you are in an information with a robot and ask a question. In order for the robot to interact with you, it relies on its sensors like RGB camera and depth sensors. This information then passes to human detection algorithm and then a formation detection algorithm. All these data then pass to an interaction engine that chooses the robot's action. In this case, it is going to be responsive, responsive to you. The problem is that the first three components are prone to errors. Cameras can be noisy because of the lighting or they can simply mask by an object. Because of the noisy input, the output of human detection algorithm might not be accurate, same as to a formation detection algorithm. The faulty outcome of a formation detection algorithm can harm the human-robot interaction in two ways. The first scenario is that a formation detection algorithm detects a person who is not part of the conversation, for example, a person who is just passing by. Then the robot's action can harm the interaction in many ways, such as not respecting people's privacy and sharing private information. The second scenario is that the information detection algorithm detects not all the members in an information. In this case, robot cannot see the user to interact with. So the user felt ignored and this harms the human-robot interaction. To overcome this problem, 
we designed and implemented a method that checks the outcome of a formation detection algorithm. This helps for robot to detect possible missing people and plan for them. For example, choose a more cautious actions like asking for clarification from the users. Our approach works based on an observation we had when we were comparing formations of the same size. We select all the formations of the same size in a data set and then we lay those formations on top of each other. First, we select an information as a frame of reference. Then for all other formations, we choose a random person uh, in that formation and we use transformation metrics so the two selected people have the same position and orientation. Like this. After plotting the heat map of all observed formations, we find out that in a standing, freestanding formation, people tend to stay on a predefined position, which can be predicted. You can see the heat map generated for three different data sets. Using this property, we train a classifier that checks the position of detected people in the formation and compares it with the training data set. So in this example, because all the people are staying in the highlighted position, the robot knows that everything is fine. If an undetected person joins the formation, people change their position slightly to be welcoming to the newcomer. When people change their position, then the robot knows although it detected only four people in this arrangement, the correct number of people in this formation is five. So it detects the error and also predict the possible position of the newcomer. We train and tested our model on two publicly available datasets. Salsa and Babel dataset. Babel consists of 35 minutes of recording conversation interaction between seven people. It boasts a large range of conversational group of different sizes and arrangements, and it's publicly available in the link below. We train our model on 80% of data and test it on the remaining 20%. Here is the confusion matrices for the Salsa dataset and Babel dataset. The diagonal of confusion metrics shows the correct predicted classes. These confusion matrices shows that our approach is a reliable way for detecting errors generated by information detection algorithms. The accuracy for the Salsa dataset is slightly less than the Babel dataset. The reason is that the Salsa dataset is more noisy, especially for the orientation of the people compared to the Babel dataset. I conclude my presentation with another example implemented. An undetected person joined the conversational group and the robot can detect the error and look at her direction. So in this presentation, I introduce a method that can detect error generated by a formation detection algorithm, which can be helpful in a human robot conversational group pipeline. I would like to thank James Kennedy, who helped a lot with the earlier version of this work. Moreover, I would like to thank Shannon, Nilufar, Elliot, and Nick for the footages showed in this uh, work. If you have any question or comment, please email me at human at colorado.edu. Thank you so much for watching this video.